I can imagine many conversations with family and friends across other parts of the country from here. You're probably explaining how nice it's been this week while just about everybody else in a deep freeze with some sort of storm, freezing rain or snow. Uh, here are our headlines. We've got morning fog heading our way on Friday. You want to give yourself some extra time to get out the door. It will be thick in some locations again. A very warm Friday afternoon on the way with a cooler weekend coming in 55 to 58 degrees, which is actually right where we should be for this time of the year. But clouds on Saturday, rain on Sunday will be the theme. Let me show you what's happening right now on the satellite and radar. We've got partly to mostly cloudy skies across the upstate where the clouds have remained thick throughout the day. Temperatures have been chilly. Yeah, I said chilly while most of us are sitting pretty with no rain across the area and we're flirting with 80 degrees in some locations. Greenville, one of those areas that are so nice right now, 68 degrees, ah, but our wind northeast at 10 miles per hour. That wedge had you earlier today locked in, but it eroded away little by little. And Anderson, you've got a south wind at seven miles per hour. Greenville was right on the cusp today of being in the wedge or out of the wedge. That wedge is basically a cold northeast wind that banks up against the mountains where Gaffney, you haven't budged from the 50s all day, but one county south, it's 68 in Union while it's 77 in Lawrence. So look at that, a 10 degree increase each county south you go, and that's what a wedge will do to you here with those southerly winds making all the difference in the world. Now tomorrow morning, will wake up to upper 40s to lower 50s across the area. And for some of us, it'll take a little while to burn that fog off, but we will warm up in the upstate. For the mountains, you will stay cool throughout the day as a front moves through in the morning, which I'll show you in just a moment. Mid 70s on the way for most of us, though, in the upstate. And the trend looks like this 74 degrees tomorrow, back down to the 50s this weekend, but then we inch back up going into next week. Latest computer model here shows can't roll out some spotty showers tonight as our next front starts to approach the area. This is more of a mountain event. It doesn't have a lot of steam with it, so a lot of those showers don't make it up and over the mountains. Can't roll out a spotty shower tomorrow, but most of us are dry and that sun will be breaking out from the mountains to the upstate and it will be a very nice day before our next rain starts to knock back on the door later this weekend. Saturday will feature some clouds here and there, but not a washout. We'll see some showers possible by late Saturday night into Sunday morning. This is what you'll wake up to Sunday in the mountains with some widespread heavy rainfall spilling into the upstate. That will impact most of us there, but once that moves Moves on through, we are going to begin to finally dry things back out for a while. The, the rain hasn't really totaled up a lot this week, about an inch. You can expect about another half an inch out of that activity early on Sunday, but by late afternoon, early evening, we're drying things back out. The four day looks like this 74 degrees, some morning fog tomorrow, back down to 55 on Saturday with some isolated showers possible, but most of us are dry. It's an impact day for Sunday with morning rainfall, high of 57. As we go into Monday, smooth sailing begins. We've got that sunshine each day next week with temperatures back into the middle 60s. Western North Carolina morning fog tomorrow and some morning rain giving way to a cooler day 56. We're at 52 on Saturday morning rain, even a little bit of snow mixing into the higher elevations there on Sunday, giving way to more sunshine and milder temperatures.